Hello everybody and welcome back once again to another edition of Inside the Headset as we go over to East Tennessee to William Blood High School and we talk to the head gov to the head governor himself, head coach Philip Shad Owens. How you doing tonight, coach? Doing great, Stork. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Well, last week uh, you had uh, you had Anderson County and uh, took a loss at 33 to 20. Talk a little bit about the game because it seems like to me William Blunt is playing a lot better football than they have in the past. Well, we're certainly not the same team we've been in the past. We had our we got up to a ten nothing lead. Should have been fourteen. We gave away a chance. Um, let him back in the game, and uh, at halftime it was fourteen thirteen, and had some great opportunities. Missed a couple of balls in the second half. Uh, one will throw back for a touchdown. Just kind of went through a kid's hand, and then. Had another opportunity to go ahead by one late in the game, uh, late in the third. It, uh, kid running by himself, a little bit of a gadget play, and we overthrew it by three or four yards. And he was probably ten yards behind everybody. So, you know, we had our chances. Um, our defense battled our tails off. You know, Anderson County averaged fifty points a game wow. last year for fourteen wow. games. And, uh, got a special quarterback, and um, you know, we caused three turnovers. We got a fourth down stop. Uh, I mean, we didn't stop them because we gave them 33 points, but uh, our kids bowed their butts off and gave us an opportunity to win the game, you know, in the fourth quarter. And we just came up a little bit short, and we got to find a way to make those plays. But I tell you what, anybody that's at the game is encouraged by just an unbelievable effort, very physical football game. And uh, we looked like a uh, football team for the first time in quite some time. We uh, played with the kids, disappointed that we lost, but uh, – certainly saw some things we can build on. Well, and it just seems like to me, and people don't understand, that it is a process because you have to get in place, you have to get your system going, you have to get your coaches, you have to get a lot of things lined out. I mean, if you're hired at a certain point, it's going to take you two or three years to just whatever it was was there or whatever was in place that wasn't working and get in get into your system. Well, I mean, it's, you know, it's all about kids. Let's be honest uh, I mean, we as coaches, you know, got to do a good job of organizing kids and those kind of things. But, you know, it comes down a lot of times to the 6A level, you know, to the to the Jimmys and the Joes, so to speak. And, and uh, we've been a little undermanned, and we probably still are to some degree, but our kids have killed it in the weight room for four years. You know, this is uh, the group I came in with. Uh, right. And I got hired in April. <clears throat> These were the kids that were going to be freshmen that year. And, and um, so we got a great group of seniors. The biggest thing that impresses me about our kids is the kind of character kids that we have on our football team, and that was evident last Friday night. And I think if you have a bunch of kids of great character uh, that are willing to sell out for their teammates and their brothers and, and all those kind of things, I think you have a chance to win football games. And so we gave ourselves a chance to win against a team that's going to be 13-0 going into the semifinals. And it'll be between them and Greenville for the state championship, probably in 4A football. Uh, we gave ourselves a legitimate chance to win, and uh, we simply didn't make a couple plays that we needed to make, and they did. Uh, but we have another opportunity this week to play against a really good Cleveland team, as everybody knows. And you know, we're going to Cleveland, and you know we're excited about the opportunity uh, because we see the improvement every day in practice. Our kids do, and uh, they're very eager um, to get that taste out of the mouth from last Friday night. What do you felt like you you did a lot better versus last last Friday night in that first game against Lenore City? What do you feel like you grew up the most in in from game one to game two, Coach? Well, we made we made a few more plays offensively uh, last week against Anderson County. He's a very talented, talented team, uh, and we gave ourselves chances to make more plays. We simply didn't convert some things, but. Uh, uh, just played better. I mean, but it wasn't raining sideways. You know, against Lenore City, we're up 13 nothing and a half. It should have been way more than that. And the whole second half, it rains really hard. So, that's, you know, it was 13 7. Our defense played great and bailed us out. Um, uh, I thought last week, um, both both sides of the ball gave us chances to, to win, and uh, neither side was able to get over the top and, either, you know, to make the few plays it took to, to be the difference, I guess. And, uh, uh, so I thought it was a huge week of improvement from week one to week two. I think I said that last week when I was talking with you. That right. Many times your biggest improvement is from week one to week two. Well, I mean, we saw that last week. and and uh, But I tell you what, our kids have come back this week really, really hungry to get better because it's been hot. I know, I know it's been hot everywhere. Oh, it's 100 over today. here. <laughs> Do what? It was 100 over here yesterday. Uh, the heat index when we started practice was 98 today. And uh, uh 
you know, here it is, third ball game. You know, normally you start getting the 80s, you know, somewhere, you know. And, uh, but our kids, uh, you know, we, we said we can worry about being hot. We can worry about getting better. It's up to you guys. We all want to do. And, and uh, we had a group of kids that really just led us. And, and we battled our tails off this week in practice. And we got better, and uh, and I think that's the key. And you know, you got to win in practice before you win on Friday nights. And our kids, you know, battered their tails off this week in practice. I was really proud of, of the effort. Uh, I'm happy with our game plan. I think both our, both sides are, are prepared. We know, you know, basically what they're going to do. Now it's now it's one about the business of trying to contain their speed, uh, because we know Cleveland, you know, can run at many positions. And if you make mistakes or get out of position against those guys, they're going to score points. Um, because they do have speed at all the skill positions. And, and uh, you know, what a great challenge and what a great opportunity is for us to go to Cleveland. And, you know, they're coming off a loss to Beard, which they're very disappointed about, I know. And, and uh, so it's going to be a great challenge. But, man, it's one that we're excited about and we want. Finishing up, uh, what are you going to be looking at at Cleveland uh, as far as when you got the ball, what do they like to run as a defensive set, Coach? Well, they have a new defensive staff, new defensive coordinator. They're, you know, they're three three or three five three, as we used to always call that. And, and so they're going to stack backers on top of their nose and tackles, and you know, play some games with those guys, and then put a bunch of skill players out there to, you know, try to get in gaps and run and run to the football. And, and they do those things well. And you know, we, I mean, we feel like we have a plan that can take advantage of some things, but but we're certainly going to have to stay, you know, stay on our blocks, and because they do run well to the football, and you know, we're going. to and for us to be successful, it's really, really simple. It's not complicated. Uh, besides the obvious given of blocking and tackling, we have to be detail oriented. And I told the kids that probably not when we left the field. You know, we missed some details. And and uh, for us to be successful, we got to pay attention to the details. We got to be in the right spots where we're supposed to be. We got to be leveraged when we're supposed to be. Uh, those details make all the difference in the world for our football team. And, and that's all we've talked about all week. It's all about the details. And, and our kids understand that. And, uh, and they're working hard to do those things and get better at those things. And I look to see a, a, another week where we improve and take a step forward and, and hopefully that results in a, in a W on the board and gets us started 1-0 in our region. Big plans this weekend after uh, hopefully we get that W or we will get that W Friday night. Big plans. I know you, you love uh, sit, kicking back and watching a little college football on the, uh, as it kicks off. That's what I'll be doing. I'll, uh, as always, I'll work on Saturday mornings, you know, preparing for the – for the next one, then I put it down for a little while on Saturday afternoon, spend some time with family, so watch a little college football, relax, and then after church on Sunday, it's back to work and back to getting ready for the next one, which will be Heritage. And uh, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll enjoy some college football. It's certainly uh, it's hard to believe that we're going to be through game three and college football is just now starting and NFL still hasn't started. So we, we kind of start early in the state of Tennessee, I guess, you know, because we're going to be doing the three games before anybody else is playing football yet. But, uh, uh, but it'll be a great weekend, you know, Labor Day weekend, and we'll certainly uh, you know, find a little time to relax, but we're going to continue to kind of grind on and, and find ways to win football game. Well, uh, will you practice Monday? Will, it, will you go full, uh, full pads and go at it Monday? Uh, we'll practice Monday morning. Okay. Monday is, a, Monday is a shell day for us. We don't generally go on in full pads. It's usually kind of shutter pads for us. It's a lot of game plan conditioning. Right. Um, so, you know, we'll practice at 9 o'clock. We'll be done with our practice and a little video study by 11 and give the kids the rest of the, you know, rest of the afternoon off. I like to go ahead and practice in the morning so they have the rest of the day off and some time to enjoy Labor Day and cookouts and all the things that people like to do. So uh, that's our plans for Monday. And, uh, man, I'm just excited. Uh, I'm excited about where we're, where we're headed at Wayne Bond. I know our kids are excited. And uh, we just got to find ways to finish some games, and, and hopefully that starts uh, tomorrow night. Coach, you know, uh, I, I, I've known you a long time, and I mean, I can hear the confidence in your voice and, and the uptick and, and, and everything. Uh, and it's not that you've changed, it's just they've changed, and, and they're starting to buy in and stuff. And I mean, I can, I can hear it. I, I, I know you're pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, Stork. I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, you know, since I was a kid, you know, and I was a kid as a head coach at Smyrna when I was 26 years old, so. You've known me for a long, long time. Here's the thing I'm encouraged about. It. It's not just our kids. It's our community. It's our fans. We had the biggest crowd that we've had since I've been at William Blunt for a non-Heritage or Maryville game, which those two are both in-county games, obviously. So the biggest crowd we've had, the biggest game we've had since I've been at William Blunt, this is my fourth year, uh, you know, for a non-rivalry game in the county. And and so that says a lot about our, you know, about our, our kids and our community and Things that are going on at at our, at our school, and you know the future is bright, and the future is now. You know we keep, you know we didn't say it. 
I've been saying for three years, I know the future's going to be bright. I know the future's going to be bright. Well, you know, I tell our kids, the future's now. It's time, to, it's time to make that big change. And and our kids believe in that. And uh, now we got to go out and play football, right? We've done the preparation. Now it's time to go have some fun and, and play some football on a Friday night. So I know our kids are eager for that. So am I. Safe travels over to Cleveland, Coach, and good luck Friday night. And we'll try to talk to you next week. Sounds good, Stork. Appreciate it. See you. Bye.